Everyone's got potential and we've got the choice of do we push ourselves to reach the top of that or, or not. When I was growing up, I always had a, um, a drive to be creative and design and make and I think that was from mum constantly encouraging us with the leftover loo roll tubes and washing up bottles to um, create and build. I'm passionate about being creative. I just have to be. It's like um, you need air to breathe, you need food to eat. I need to, I need to make stuff. It's um, maybe I'm not so eloquent when I want to express myself verbally but I can make things that, that show how I feel about stuff and um, I think that's, that's a great therapy. It's a, a nice way to go through life is to be able to express yourself and so you all, everyone has to find their own way and mine is yeah, making, creating, building. My mum taught me how to knit. I remember seeing a lady knit with big knitting needles. <laughs> Not quite as big as I, the ones behind me, but and I ran with that and said, could I go bigger? And I was thinking, well, I wonder how big is big? So I looked it up, walked the dog back home and announced that I will, I will be going to try and make the biggest knitting needles in the world. When I unveiled the needles, I think I was quite pleased to see a lot of people stopped and they looked. It's, it's nice to see people actually take a second out of their day to go, what's going on over there? And then people started coming over and asking and talking and smiling and laughing and they were all very positive reactions. Having people believe in me is a massive help. So often you realise, even at your lowest ebb, when people, they still believe in you. Even on your rough days or you think I'm not doing so well, they still reckon you can do it and you can make it and that's a great bolster to get you through to the days where you recognise that, you know, I've done it or I'm good at this or it's okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing to have people keep faith when you've not got so much and they just give you that little tide you over until you get there yourself. When I officially got the record, I don't know, part of me still doesn't believe it really. I'm relieved to think that all that work and all that this is what I'm trying to do has actually been achieved. I've, I, you know, I've done it. I've got, I've got a certificate that says so. I don't consider myself that special. <laughs> I just, just like doing things. And the fact that you know, it's recognised to be the biggest in the world is it's nice, it's, it's really nice. There's nothing, nothing can stop anyone, I don't think. If you truly believe you can do it, it doesn't have to be the most extraordinary. It could just be the normal day-to-day -day things. Um, yeah, just keep striving, just keep pushing forward. Give it a go, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> You'd end up stuck with two very big sticks. <laughs>